guys, welcome back to the shop. And today's quick project is going to be a nice little pen box made from a 2x4 and a little bit of mahogany on the side. And it's to present some of these nice um, acrylic pens that I've been making recently for the Christmas markets. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you at the end. Okay, so we've got it trimmed down to size now. So this is the overall length. It's six, inch, it's six inches long and about one and a half inches high. And we've ripped the lid off and the base. And what we're going to do now is we're going to groove a channel down the centre there with the router and on here. Now it's going to be off centre slightly. So what we're going to do is we're going to run it down the router on the bed one way, and then we're going to turn it around and we're going to run it down the other way. And that way that will ensure that the groove has got even on is even to the sides. It'll make a bit more sense later on on the, on the router table. And we'll do the same with the lid of course. So the inside of the lid is still a little bit rough from the uh, from the routing, so we're just going to go in that now with some 120 gram um, with some 120 grit sandpaper and a pencil, and I'm just going to give that a quick sanding. Okay, I've got a piece of mahogany here, it's a little bit of scrap, and I've marked off the the sides here. I'm going to rip that down on the table. So now I only want the thin bit. And they're going to become the edges of the box but the distance between the fence and the blade now is quite narrow and that's going to make me nervous so instead of using my normal push blocks I'm going to use this thin one that I made from a bit of plywood just to push it through that gap because it's just a little bit too close and the old adage if it doesn't feel right don't do it it ain't worth the risk Okay, so I've cut down the strips of mahogany dead on the a little bit over on the on the large side, and I've deliberately done that just so that when when it all goes in, it'll, I can sand it down to be in flush with the box. It's a little bit off the top there, and then everything will be nice and square then when it goes on. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to put some CA glue on the sides of the fence of the the box here, and we're going to glue that, on, and that's going to be our sides. I always find it easier to tape the box 
and the lid together at this stage and then decide which is going to be the front and which is going to be the back now for me I'm going to have the front with this knot on because I think that's going to look nice um, and I'm going to have the back as this side I'm also going to use the my square for making sure that the hinges go on in the same distance and also that they go on square so we're going to do that now So that's it guys, thanks very much for watching the video, I really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I'm really happy with the way that these boxes have turned out. Um, it's a really nice addition to the pen, it makes a nice little Christmas gift and it doesn't take very long at all. Um, you can knock a couple of these out in, in an hour or so, um, it, it, it's really really quick. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video as I said, so if you did I'd really appreciate it if you can give that a thumbs up or you share it with your friends. Uh, and I hope to see you on the next video, take care, bye bye.